Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video of the Pro Cyclist Mode with Joe Almeida. Here we are on season number 4 and today we are going to start with the races and since the last episode I seen uh, the, the poll that I did so the majority of you didn't vote but that is fine and the ones that voted says that uh, you want me to ride Giro and Tour so that's what we are going to do of course that was the the poll that had more votes so I'm going with that of course so yeah today I'm just going to show you the first three months of the calendar so as you can see right here the first three months we have three classics then we go to Volta ao Algarve then to go to three more classics two of them are the world tour with Strade Bianchi and Milan San Remo so yeah today's video is going to be a mix of these races so I'm just going to make a recap for all of the races so that we can move on faster and like I said the this series is going to be less frequent so yeah uh, I did some changes on the calendar as well of course since we are not going to La Vuelta let's see now as you can see on the from April to May we have here Itzule Basque Country and Liege Bastogne Liege remember we had two classics with cobbles one of them the Paris Hobe, but of course I'm not going to write those because we are not the guy for the cobbles. Then of course we have the Giro d'Italia, which is not our objective. I'm going to show you that in a moment as well. Then from uh, June to July we have of course Tour de France and the national championships, and I have here Tour de Suisse as well. I'm a bit concerned about this Tour of Suisse if uh, it is too much or not because. We came from Giro to right then uh, Tour de Suisse, I don't know if it is the best option, but it's here. And then of course after Tour de France we have Classica San Sebastian and Tour de Laine, three stages. And then uh, on uh, August until the end of the year. We don't have much races, of course we, we remove La Vuelta, so we have here the Bretagne Classic, a hilly classic. Then we go to Belgium to the Big Bang Tour just to do a stage race before the world championships and of course once again we are going to Canada to the Grand Prix of Montreal this time we are not going to do the both Grand Prix of Canada it's not here yet but the world championships should be around this time at the 20th of September and then to finish off the season of course we have Lombardia and Tour of Guangxi so this is the final calendar for João Maida if we're going to the season objectives, I have Voto Agar first, then of course Tour de France and to finish the season we have the World Championships. I put here the individual time trial as an objective so that the peak form will go until the, the World Championships as well, so th that way we can manage both races. And yeah, this is a major target for this year, of course I want to win the Championships. But it's going to be difficult of course. In terms of Tour de France and Giro, I'm going for the Tour because it's a new Grand Tour that we didn't race yet. So of course we have to defend the Giro but the main, uh, the main thing is Tour de France for sure. And in terms of these objectives, since we are a, a rider that we are higher on the, on the team, we can do some requests for teammates and that's what I did already for Volto Agar. We have here Jose Razem. Alex Lutsenko and Lilian Kaumejan to help us because of, of course we have here some hilly stages and some mountain stages so we have guys for the climbs to help us so yeah that's our teammates for this race and then for tour I'm going to choose as well some of the riders to, to help me throughout this race and so let's go to the first races of the year we have here some classics in Spain Trofeo Serra Tramontana and Trofeo Polensa and Trax, so yeah, we're going to do these two ones and then this Cad 11's Great Torsion Race, maybe I'm just going to show the result because it's not for us, so yeah, let's go into these ones. And so here we are for the first race, but we have an injury it seems, as you can see on the screen, we have a little injured, so we are not with the best fitness as well because it's the beginning of the season of course, and uh, let's see how is going to be our fitness for today although we are the favorites in this one so I'm confident that we can do a good result since we are the favorites 
And yep, we got a bit lucky as well because Lutsenko, our teammate, was on a plus today and therefore was a great help to, to the climbs and on the penultimate climb we just put a rhythm with Lutsenko and that makes all the difference really where I just follow Lutsenko and Conrad was the only one that follow us so from a group of 14 guys we're just in front with 3 and Conrad was the only one that could follow us and yep it was very good because then we had a big downhill just to a little climb in the end and on that little climb we made the difference to Conrad because we had the energy and therefore in the end we just sprinted for the victory João Almeida wins his first race of the year on the first race a big win for us Lutsenko comes in second as well although he was out of energy but what a great work for Lutsenko really to gave us he gave us this victory really so yeah we start very good the year with this victory and uh, it seems that we are starting very strong really so I'm very happy with this and yep, now going for the second race of the season, Trofeo Polensa, Port Antrax again, a race where we are once again the favorites, Tao Goganart and all of the other guys are here as well, but we are the favorites again, it finishes uphill this time, so it will be a bit different, but I'm hoping that we have the, the strength necessary to win once again. And on the last 10 kilometers of the race, we had Tao Goganart in front alone, so we had to do the work. I put my team working in front of the peloton just to try to catch Goganart, so I didn't want him to get away, of course. And we were already on the last 10 kilometers, and so that's what I did. Although we are injured, we had a plus one day, which is a good thing, of course, so that on the final climb, we just put a rhythm with Lillian Kalmajan, and then, of course, on the last kilometer, I just tried to sprint it and we had Conrad on the great position but it wasn't enough for him, João Maida with a great sprint, too soon for me I believe but we hold on to the difference to the other guys and therefore it's another win for us so two races, two wins for João Maida on this beginning of the season so it's starting very good for us really. And so now we have the Cad 11's Great Ocean Race and uh, this one is a flat stage so it's not for us we are still with an injury so yeah this one was not for us and in the end the win goes for Edward Tunes from New Balance the new team that he is replacing Trek Segafredo so is the winner and Joao Maida just on a 16th place which is not bad of course but again this race was not for us and here we go now we have Volto Algarve and Bicicleta this one the first stage race of the season and this one is a big one because I'm here to win this thing so I want to win as we see the profile of the stages some of them are flat but still we have a lot of ups and downs that's not a even terrain we have a lot of climbs throughout the whole race so let's see what's going to happen of course already on the second stage we have a big mountain stage it is a queen stage of the race where uh, we are going to try our best of course that's what we are here for and then on the other stages we have a lot of uh, hilly stages but we have as well a time trial on stage number three and then stage number four for the sprinters but we finish once again on a hilly terrain stage number five so yeah let's see what's going to happen i'm confident once again since we are winning the races where we at i'm confident that we can do something here let's see and the lights going to stage number one. And so this is going to be the team for us. João Maida with Alex Lutsenko and Jesus Errada. As well as Lilian Kalmejan. Because these are the three guys that I choose to be with me on this race. Then we have as well Matthias Letournier, Jordan Rowling and Roman Siegel. So yeah, guys that can help us. That's all I want really. And yep, once again, our three teammates, let's hope that they are going to make a difference for us and help us throughout this race. And so here we are now for the last three kilometers of the first stage. I was on a good day, I wanted to sprint, so Jesus Errada is launching the sprint for us. We were quite behind on the peloton, but out of nowhere on the last kilometer I started the sprint and I was on the perfect position for winning, but out of nowhere as well, Vicenzo Albanese just surpasses on the finish line and therefore is the winner on the first stage. João Maida with a great sprint 
just finished on the second place, so close to the victory, but still, was a very good first stage, and uh, I was not expecting that really. And now for stage number 2, this is the Queen stage, we are already inside the 10 kilometers. I'm just putting a pace with my guys because I want to control the race, and uh, I was on a good day once again, a plus 2 day, so yeah, I just was putting a rhythm, I have, I have some of my guys on my wheel to help me further down the line on the climb and uh, some other guys were just putting a pace and yeah, I was feeling good, we had just 8 kilometers right now and uh, yeah, I was expecting to control in this race throughout the whole climb, just putting a big rhythm from the beginning and that's what I wanted really. But unfortunately, out of nowhere, we just got attacked from Clement Champonsin and I needed to react to that, so that's what I did. I reacted to that attack, Hoglich was on my wheel and uh, now with just 3 guys up front, Hoglich continued to attack. First I tried to follow but I just put a pace really, I'm not going to, to react to that until uh, I needed to react of course, but then I just went with a pace because I thought that is a better option really because Roglic and Champonsa was out of energy already so I have the energy, I have the pace, I just needed to go like this, Quintana some point is behind us as you can see right here and is closing to us but still we have an advantage so let's try to conserve this advantage still 1 and 7 kilometers to go, Roglic is completely out of energy, I just tried to conserve a bit of energy on this last kilometer right here with them so that I can sprint in the end and the uh, Quintana even caught us and started the sprint but then João Maida with the energy and with the sprint capability was the winner of this stage on Alto da Foia ahead of the likes of Primus Roglic and Nario Quintana so what a great result for João Maida on this stage number 2 and yep therefore we are the new leaders of the general classification 13 seconds ahead of Primus Roglic, Nairo Quintana with 15 seconds, so yeah, what a great result on this second stage, we are on top form really, although we were injured, but we are looking very good really, and this is a big win for us, we have one of the best guys in cycling, Primus Roglic, and we just beat him, so it's very good to see that, and uh, on the best climber classification, we entered this classification because of the win, of course, and the, on the points we are the, the first one as well because of that second place on the first stage and, and because of this victory. And so at this point I decided to change the difficulty too hard because I was feeling that it was a bit too easy so yeah, I changed the difficulty too hard to see if it's a bit more challenging. And uh, it was challenging, on this stage number 3 we had a time trial where we had a minus one day and um, I thought that it would be okay with this, but the fact is, I didn't manage the energy on the first checkpoint that well, so therefore I conserved too many energy first, and therefore we're losing already 32 seconds on the first checkpoint, and that was very bad for us to recover, we, we just couldn't recover, and therefore we end up losing a lot of time on this time trial, so yeah. Uh, in the end we just made a third place behind Primus Roglic and we lost 41 seconds to the winner Ron Dennis, Primus Roglic just lost 17 or 18 seconds, therefore Roglic is the new yellow jersey of the race, so now we are on a second place, 11 seconds down, again a bad uh, stage for us and now we are on second place, so let's see now with the new difficulty if we can get this jersey back or not. And now for stage number 4, it is a stage for the sprinter, so yeah, it was not a stage for us. Uh, so yeah, let's see what's going to happen. And uh, once again, I, I needed to try something and therefore I had a plus 3 day today. So I was for the victory, once again I was to sprint. I had my train set up, but João Maida was very far behind to the lead out of Lutsenko, but still I tried to catch Lutsenko and I catch. We were on a perfect position, on the last kilometer we started sprinting but we didn't have the energy and uh, the win this time is going for Arno Demar from FDJ so we just ended on a third place behind Demar and Mike Tunison which is good as well because third place 
gives us some bonus seconds for the general classification and that is awesome of course and so now we have just 5 seconds of this event from Roglic adding to the last stage of this Volta Algarve stage number 5 where it is a hilly stage and he finishes up hill so it's crucial for us to try and win the general classification here of course but once again I was surprised because I didn't have any teammates again to help me on the stage I didn't understand and it was very weird really but yeah it was like this and we, we were alone on the last climb but thankfully it was a short climb so yeah I was not expecting this but I was having a plus two without any teammates but I, I am confident about that so I just put a rhythm myself just to be on a good position on the peloton to then on the end just sprint it and win another stage here on Valto Algarve and we have a little difference from the favorites so I believe we can gain some seconds for the general classification which is awesome and uh, in the end we won the general classification because we gained 7 seconds to Roglic who was the second place on the stage Nairon Quintana third and yep we win the race 6 seconds of advantage from Roglic in the end and what a way to start the season really I cannot ask for a better start with 3 wins in 4 races that is amazing and so now we have 3 more races we start with Strade Bianchi where of course we know this parkour we have this famous finish in Piazza del Campo in Siena and we are on a fitness peak it seems so uh, I think this fitness peak should come in Voto Algarve so it's a bit late but of course let's try to use this fitness peak and let's see what can we do with it and so the gravel sections of the race did not have an impact on the, the peloton and on the riders so I just put a pace with my guys on the last 20 kilometers of the race I put a pace with Lil and Kalmajan to see if I could drop some guys from the peloton and uh, we did that because we ended the last 5 kilometers with just 42 cyclists in the peloton and it was there where I put a big acceleration with Alex Lutsenko at 99 of effort because it was down even until the last climb and we had the energy to do that so I did that but maybe it was too late to do that because uh, Lutsenko has a lot of energy left in the last climb so I sprinted with Joe Almeida inside the last kilometer but Loomis from FDJ was quicker than Joe Almeida and we end up just on his second place and yeah this time the strategy was not the best and therefore we didn't win but it was very close for us and next we have the first monument of the season it's Milan San Remo and once again I don't have any teammates to help me I'm on a zero race day condition but still it's very weird that I don't have any teammates with me so again very very weird but it is what it is so we are entering the podium right now the last climb of the race and I'm just trying to pick a wheel to follow someone but in the end on the last minute I decided to put the read on myself and try to do something because it was the last climb the last opportunity to try to dismantle this peloton because uh, if not we are going to have a big sprint and we are not going to be capable of sprinting for the win and that's what happened really I didn't make the difference so in the end we were with the peloton and Matthew van der Poel with an early sprint but what a great acceleration by van der Poel was enough to make the difference nobody could catch him I tried to sprint with all of the other guys but of course I could not do nothing Van der Poel is the winner and Joao Maia just finished on 11th position so yeah again we tried but we didn't succeed and it was a race where we did nothing in the end once again and so to finish off the episode we have Classic Loire Atlantique a hilly classic where we are the favorites alongside Lutsenko and we are still with the fitness peak but this day was a day to forget right in the beginning of the race we had a crash because it was a rainy day and uh, it happened a lot of crashes in the race so yeah the first one for us right here in the beginning and uh, once again nobody was behind to help me so I was alone doing all the work try to reach the peloton and I reached but once again I had another crash and this time was further down the race and uh, again nobody just stayed behind so I was alone 
two crashes on the race thankfully we continue with we did not withdraw but we didn't have the strength necessary to reach the favorites group and Lutsenko was the only one from our team on that group it was a small group but in the end Lutsenko did not win we're just on the third place Lutsenko and Joao Maida still with a lot of crashes we end up on a good position on the top 20 because we we just make a great recovery but still uh, it was a very bad day for us of course nobody from our team helped us and uh, with two crashes of course it was not for us this day and so guys this is it for this episode i hope you like the way that i'm doing this right now just do a highlight from a big uh, a big gap of the calendar i think this is better because i have other series on the channel so this one will not come as frequently and yeah the first three months are done then I don't know how, how am I going to do it, but I will see. And yep, um, thank you so much for watching and thank you for continuing to support this series and my channel. It means a lot, really. So yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because the majority of you are not subscribed to the channel. So yeah, just subscribe because it means a lot to me, really. And uh, yeah, this is it for now. Stay safe. Bye-bye.